Each soldier in World War I, the first time dog tags were used, they were provided two of them. They were around their necks on a lanyard, and when a soldier was killed and buried, one of the dog tags was kept around his neck, the other was nailed to the wooden cross for later identification. But as we'll learn when we get to the cemetery, and especially go into the chapel, there are more than 1,100 names of soldiers and Marines who fought not just at Bella Wood, but Chateau Thierry, Soissons, and other area around the Marne are missing. We know who these individuals were, we know their units, but we don't know what happened to them. We can only assume that they were killed and either buried in isolated graves that weren't found, or because of the heavy artillery shelling, they were buried and never seen again. The remnants of Bella Wood Battlefield are on a hill above the Ain Marne Cemetery, the final resting place of almost 2,300 Americans who died in this region in 1918 and 1919. Mitchell Yockelson visited the cemetery to talk with Shane Williams, a U.S. Air Force veteran who's employed by the American Battle Monuments Commission as superintendent of the cemetery. I think it's important for American visitors to realize this is, a, this is their taxpayer dollars at work overseas to tell the story of what took place here with the memory of the fallen. Now having said that, this is but 40%. The, the headstones you see here are approximately 40% of those lives lost in this geographic region, uh, all World War I. We're at a World War I site here. So again, it's not just the Battle of Bella Wood. I think that's what most people are probably surprised to understand here at the Anmarn Cemetery. It's the Battle of Bella Wood. Yes, we're here on the battlefield where primarily the U.S. Marine Corps took over, over three weeks of very bloody combat in June of 1918. But in fact, they were relieved by U.S. Army troops who continued the fight, many of who fell into fields actually just to, to my left here. Beautiful French countryside as it was in 1918. And uh, so you've got a lot of stories here of U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Army. We have our Navy Medal of Honor recipient uh, buried just, just, behind, uh, just behind the camera here. So, so many stories to tell. And uh, we're just trying to find ways to make that connection with a visitor who has a very limited time at these sites. How about the Hill 204 Chateau Terry uh, Memorial? Is that yeah. under your direction as well? So yes, at this office here, we manage out of the cemetery office, we manage the battlefield of Bella Wood, about 200 acres approximately of the, the original battle site of Bella Wood. And then yes, Hill 204, it's, it's, uh, we usually call it the, the Chateau Terry American Monument, but it's on Hill 204 for the meter. It's meter high, 204 meters high. It is actually a French American monument the way it commemorates, built and, and maintained by the, actually the American Battle Monuments Commission. But if you take a detail, look at the villages, the names of the villages that are inscribed on the monument, and also uh, why it was built, it's commemorating the French and American soldiers who fought and died side by side in World War I. So it's kind of a, a really interesting way to, to show this Franco-American history and, and shared linkages all the way back to 1918.